Backed up traffic at the Nevada border could soon get some much needed relief. It's going to go a long, long way towards one, cutting down on the time, the travel, and two, making it safer. California and Nevada are finally working together to expand Interstate 15 at the border for millions of travelers. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey shows us how this announcement could have a big impact on not just tourists, but shoppers here in Southern Nevada. The expansion of I-15 south of Prim could have a significant impact on the Las Vegas economy. It could encourage more Californians to come here and spend money, but could also lower costs on store shelves. Another Sunday night, another long, sluggish line of cars stacking up on Interstate 15 heading into California. It's a tale old as time, but maybe not for much longer. There's a deep urgency for us to meet this moment. California Governor Gavin Newsom joined Governor Steve Sisolak Sunday to announce that Caltrans would spend $12 million to expand five miles of I-15 south of the border, from two lanes to three on peak travel times by turning the shoulder into an active travel lane. When they come up to Las Vegas, they got to come back. Sisolak says the expansion will break a bottleneck, plaguing roughly 11 million annual visitors, potentially encouraging more tourists to come and spend. You have a great experience in Las Vegas, you have a good time, you enjoy yourself, you do some shopping, and then you've got an eight-hour trip home, which isn't exactly the way to end the trip. Financial analyst Steve Buden says that the lane expansion will likely lead to a bump in tourists, but the real benefit could come with allowing shipping companies to increase their efficiency. Imagine a truck being able to do three shifts back and forth between here and L.A. versus two. That's 50% more goods that they can ship. He says more goods with fewer shipping costs could lead to an overall drop in consumer prices in the valley. The project is slated to begin work in spring 2022 and be complete in the summer, but Buden cautions against people getting too excited. Expansion talk has been going on for decades, and Buden is skeptical. If this is done by August, I will buy you lunch. Newsom and Sisolak both say that they consider this expansion an initial move in a much larger, more permanent fix. They were laid on details about what larger projects are on the table. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.